70 volts DC. So it's getting up there again. See how fast it's shooting up. So, again, 10 amp breaker shouldn't trip anytime soon, but this thing should be kicking out. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention to what that was. We have nine something amps. So about 9.43 amps or so looks like, right? So that's wild how that works. So again, just the way this thing is tuned uh, with the feedback I've got now using the PLL. The uh, current will basically drop down as it gets hotter at some point. Then eventually at another point it'll start shooting back up like it's doing. So get it going again. And you see about seven amps at that temperature and then it didn't take long for it to suddenly just start climbing up to over nine amps right so there it goes again it's climbing up there Pretty quick, and then boom, kicked out again. So now I'm just gonna watch it. It's gonna shoot well over 10 amps. I don't know where it's set, you know, 70 some volts. So now I'm just kind of like relying on the digital trip, right? I don't know how high it's gonna go. I don't want it to reach 20 or something and pop my fuse. And I don't want it to dwell over 10 amps for too long and trip the breaker. But that's gonna take forever. So I'm just going to see if it keeps rising, rising. Actually, it looks like uh, probably maxed out there at 10 something. So this is about 600 watts. Um, 600 watts RMS. You know, I didn't really want to go this high or higher because of those capacitors. Uh, I got a little fan going. I don't know. They might be all right. So yeah, that's cool. You know, I get to sit back and just see what it does. Didn't have to worry about it. You know, shooting up too high because that would just kick it out. But it didn't actually. And now I just have to worry about my switches. So I've actually got a uh, legit mean well supply coming to run that. That's uh, just going to be the better approach because uh, I was getting some voltage drop after a certain point. And given this uh, timing capacitor circuit, I felt like I wanted to use because I, I was able to tweak it to get a couple seconds. Uh, but I really need a solid, consistent voltage for that to work, right? So that's why I'm going to just put a DIN rail supply. And uh, then this will be almost good to go. Then I'm just waiting on that freaking resonant capacitor. Because I don't know when these things are going to fail. So again, about 600 watts. Um, I don't know if I should try to do anything. Except just put some steel in there and stuff. Because again, you know, just got a... <laughs> got a big old socket in there. But, uh, yeah, it seems to just sort of maintain like that. If I was to adjust the uh, BCO, if I was to adjust the piece, uh, the PLL a little bit, then I'll get rid of those spikes. But it's kind of, it seems like it's actually switching at the highest resonance at that point. So, so long as it's not looking like it's going to kill my bridge, I'll just leave it like that. So yeah, again, another good test, about 600 watts or so, run it like that for a while, and then see uh, the state. That's obviously pretty hot. Coil still cold, water's cold now. Now the, the uh, water started to warm up until I turned these fans on. So I mean, obviously you need, again, you need something to exchange that heat. I'm gonna need to leave these uh, running actually while that cools down. So i cut that back on. But, uh, yeah, everything's still cold. 
Obviously, I have a gigantic heat sink, so that's important. Primary, still, still cold. I feel the core has the slightest warmth on it now, but I don't know if that's just, you know, residual air heat coming off there, but uh, the capacitors, I feel, are the warmest things on here. So, I don't know. It actually does look like it could run, you know, 600 watts, no problem uh, with those capacitors, maybe more. So that's not bad. Might be able to melt aluminum or something at 800 watts or more using this setup, but again, I don't really trust it. Here goes aluminum. So again, aluminum being the only load in there pulls quite a bit. So I'm only at 55 volts uh, DC on the bus, 48 VAC. Um, I've had to detune it slightly. So instead of about 66.7, I'm about 68 and a half. Uh, kilohertz now. That's the bridge uh, output. So it's been sitting about 10 amps for a while. So uh, you know, being this only being about 480 watts RMS, it took quite some time. But the uh, aluminum is is now getting damn hot. Uh, it's been a couple more minutes, and it looks like it's still getting hotter, still getting hotter. So eventually, I guess that crucible. Whoop! There it goes. It tripped again. I gotta see where it tripped it. See, see, look, it's all the way up to 11 volts now, or 11 amps now. So I have to cut the freaking voltage down. So again, I have to watch this thing because it just creeps around. So let me bump it back up to about 10 again. So I'm not gonna let it run over what where it's tripping at now right because again i've got 10 inch switches they'll probably be fine at like 11 but i don't want to push it and uh you know, there it goes down there kind of cool down a little bit oh okay so it is melting now so look i can actually uh push down the aluminum and deform it so that's why the amp shot up like that, right? Because it basically reached melting point, I suppose. And now I've backed it down. So let me back it up again a little bit, close to 10 and a half. And again, I'm at like, uh, what, about 68 point something, 52 volts DC, right? So it didn't actually take as much as I thought to uh, melt aluminum. It's not molten yet, so again, uh, what's, let's just say about uh, 460 watts, a little bit over that. That's what it took to get it pliable, let's just say. So to actually get it molten, runny metal melted, then um, I would imagine I would have to run, I don't know, it seems like it would do it about 600 watts. Let it run like that for 600 watts, or at 600 watts for long enough. And uh, yeah, it'll probably do it. So that's pretty cool. Not bad. So since I know I'm not going to run it for uh, you know over 10 amps for too much longer, I'm just going to go ahead and stop it and uh, let that cool down and just see what that ends up looking like. So if I kind of poke around in there, get this thing to focus. It's pretty much melted. Uh, not completely Start to see it a little better now Yeah, it just kind of Turned into a, a crappy blob Let's see yeah, It's still soft Let's see if I can stab it. I can compress it down into a little ball right now if I want to. But yeah, so it didn't melt quite enough. Like, basically, it just broke up into a bunch of little pieces. I 
Alright, yeah, so not quite there. Grab this little goober. So yeah, there you go. Looks like uh <laughs> looks like I mashed up a bunch of aluminum foil or something and beat it with a hammer. <laughs> 